Hey, HBF Church family, it's Brian here. It's Tuesday. It's just a little before 1 o'clock, about a quarter till. I uh, just wanted to encourage you uh, to make plans to be here tomorrow night. 6.30, of course, is Wednesday night Bible study. But tomorrow night we're going to have a special speaker. Uh, if you were at the Focus Conference at Midtown, uh, the Living Faith Fellowship Focus Conference that we have here in town every uh, year, you'll remember Paul Clark spoke there. He did a great job, of course. But uh, he is coming here tomorrow night. And it's really cool because in God's providence, Right, we have a team in London, in the UK, and in Brian Clark's church, which is Paul's nephew. So, as we're hearing from Paul Clark, our team is on the ground in London, uh, and the Clark family just uh, God is using them in our life to encourage us uh, in the mission of God. So, uh, do two things: remember to pray for the London team uh, that's on the ground right now, and then uh, as you think of that, and you think of Brian Clark, remember that tomorrow night at 6:30. Paul Clark will be here at HBF, and uh, he is a missionary to Columbia and has an incredible uh, testimony, uh, fruit uh, that uh, is much fruit and remains, and uh, we got a lot that we can learn and experience from Paul. You, you won't want to miss him. He's a great speaker and just a great saint, and it's our privilege to, to have him here. So uh, please remember, tomorrow night, 6.30, uh, Bible study starts. Plenty of stuff to do with the kids. Of course, the weather's good. There's the, the playground equipment as well going on out there and all that. So, uh, And I know a lot of you have your kids at camp, so remember that as well. Uh, pr uh, make your date night HBF if your kids are away uh, tomorrow night, 630. But also be praying for the kids at camp. And uh, uh, they're almost here now on the third day, and the third day of camp is always uh, incredible. And so it's just like the resurrection power shows up on the third day and a lot of lives are changed. So continue to pray for uh, the high school and junior high camp and uh, God's good hand upon that and all those that went. 51 souls from Heartland are down there and, and our guests that are at the camp. A good turnout this year for camp. So continue to keep that in your prayer and pray for all the work that went on at the at the uh, church in the park this week. I'm uh, working on all the follow-up on that this week. We had several first-time guests, uh, a lot of interest from our community. is really awesome. Great messages, great testimony, and just, you know, good time in Jesus. So continue to keep that in your prayer. And when you come on Sunday or Wednesday, look around, have your head on a swivel, and be ready to greet and meet new people and show them the love of Christ. God bless y'all. I will uh, look, at, look to talk to you uh, hopefully tomorrow night, if not before.